What's up guys, Artie's here. So, I have three cats in the room and I often forgot to turn on the AC when I leave the house. So, I decided to make myself a IoT system and turn on the AC remotely on my phone. It's so hot. Can you turn on the AC for me? Alright, this is what we need for this project. A Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 4G version, a ESP8266 board, a Seed Arduino Beginner Kit. First, we need to download a Raspberry Pi OS with Home Assistant built in, so we don't need to install Home Assistant later, and burn the image to a SD card. After that, we need to plug in the mouse, keyboard, and SD card to the Raspberry Pi and start the system. When the system boots up the first time, we need to do some setup. And after that, we need to connect the device to our network. After the settings, we open up a terminal and we can see there is a home assistant directory already there. We use ifconfig command to find out our Raspberry Pi IP address. Then, we open up a browser and setting up Home Assistant by visiting the IP address through port 8123. After we set up an account, we can see the Home Assistant control panel. We also can use the same IP address to visit the page with another device, so we can control the device across our devices. We now can add a device to our home assistant. I'm going to connect my meat light to it and test it out. First, we need to set up the lamp. Turn on the yellow light app and turn on the LAN control of the lamp. Then, we need the IP address of the lamp in order to control it. Now, we need to get our hands dirty. We need to go to a Home Assistant directory and edit the configuration file and add some code to add our lamp to it. This is the IP address of the lamp and this is the name we want to call it. Save the file and restart Home Assistant service with the command sudo system control stop or start Home Assistant at Pi. After we refresh the browser, we should see a new panel. Press the button, we can now control our lamp with Home Assistant web interface. Next, we need to start MQTT so we can add our own devices to it. Open up configuration file and add the code MQTT broker 127.0.0.1. After we start Home Assistant, we can open up a terminal and use mosquito sub command to listen to a topic. Open up another terminal and use mosquito pub to update the topic. Dash T is the topic we want to update and the message is on. When we hit enter, the message displayed on another terminal. We can also use a Home Assistant web interface to test MQTT service as well. Listen to a topic and send a message to that topic. Now, let's add a ESP8266 to our Home Assistant through MQTT. Set up the Wi-Fi name and password, and the MQTT server is our Raspberry Pi IP. We will listen to the HA switch one topic. We get a message on. We print out the message and turn on the LED, and turn it off when we get a message off. Pretty straightforward. After we upload the code to the board, we now open up the serial monitor and use Home Assistant web interface MQTT section to test it out. Now, 
we can add the switch to our control panel. The platform is MQTT. The topic we need to update and listen to is HA slash switch1. The message is on or off. Now we restart the service and refresh the web page. We can see a new panel. By clicking the button, we now can toggle the LED on or off. We can also do it with our phone. To make it more useful, we can even connect our voice assistant to it and control our devices with just our voice.